Good everyone. My name is Graphix. Now we want to draw the third angle production of the figure that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen. And that figure is drawn in isometric. So we are told to transform it to first third angle projection. Now I told you earlier, whenever I hear the word orthographic projection, you have to draw your four cardinal points. Which I've been showing you in my previous video. So you take your T square, you draw your horizontal axis, right? And you take your T square and you draw the vertical one this way. So again, you draw the vertical one this way. This is where they meet at this point. Now you use your, your compass and you measure um, five millimeter or more if you want to. So from here to here, five millimeter or more. This is five up, five down. Five left, five right. Then I'll take my C square to draw a line that will pass through those points. So this should pass through this point. I'll be having this. And this will pass through this point. I'll be having this. Right? So this is what we'll do for the horizontal. One, two, I'll have this, and I'll also have this, right? So, we have this now. Now, to give you a clear view of what we are about to draw, which is this. So, this is a clear view here. We want to draw looking at this direction. I will be drawing in first angle projection, right? So we're looking at this, drawing in first angle projection. So this is my front elevation. Is that again? So the, I told you earlier that yeah, we will take two things into consideration when drawing the front elevation. We we'll take the length and we we'll take what? The height. Now, the total length here is given as 64 and the total height is given as 10 plus 20, that is 30. So I will draw 64. And what and height of 30. So taking my meter rule and placing it here, I'm going to measure 64. So this is the 64 here, right? So from 0 to 64, meeting at that point here, that is my horizontal. So from this point to here is 64. Now the height will say this 30. So from here, I'm going to measure 30. Now this is 30 here. And I'll use my C square to connect those two points together. This. Then use my T square to make them a complete box. That is the concept. Now if you look closely, this point here is this point here and the height is going to be what if it's going to be what 10 so I measure the height of 10 and I have it this way to measure the height of 10 I'm going to be measuring from this point here here to here is 10 right and just draw my horizontal line, faint line first of all, this way. And after that, the next thing we'll do is that this point you see here is this point here. And we're going to measure 15 in. Now you see this object is more like uh, a symmetrical object. If from here to here is 15, then the other end also involves the reward 15. So I'm going to measure 15 from this point, then also from the other end too. 
I measure the 15 from here to this point. So from here to here is 16. And from here to here is also 15. Right? I will tick in those points together. From here to here, this line is ticking, just like it's showing you in the top right corner of the screen. And from here to this point, it's also ticking. And here to here, what is ticking too. Right? So the next thing we are doing is that I'm going to tick in this point to here. From here to here, it's also ticking. And from here to here too, it's also ticking. Can see that? So look at what we have from the top right corner. Discover that this point here is this point. So I'll just take it up straight because the remaining one is just at the topmost. So the good news is we already took the total height. So I'll just draw this line straight to meet the line up and draw this one also to meet the line up. So this point, which is this point. To be drawn up to touch the top like this and here also we have the same thing then I will just close it up from here this way that again now the next thing we'll do is that we look at this point and this point, which is this point and this point. So we'll be seeing here as if it is on this point. And we'll be seeing here as if it's on this point. Since you are looking at it perpendicularly, right? So since you're looking at it perpendicularly, so you want to notice both of them are connected. So here being connected from here to here, we'll look as if it is here connected from here to here. I'm going to join this point and this point together, which is this point and this point. So I'm going to join them together. If I do that, I'll be having this this way. This is what we have here. Right? Now, if you look at this figure closely, we discover that we have a box here, a form of a rectangle. Now, how will I get to that point? So it means that from the top, I'm going to measure five. After five, I'll measure eight. So this point here is parallel is the same as this point here, right? So but from here, I'll measure five, then eight. So this point is this point. So I'll measure 5, I'll measure 8. So let's do that and see. So I'll measure 5. Here. First of all, then I'll measure 8 also. So from here, we measure 8. So this is 0. This is 0. And 8 is here. So I'll use my um, T square and just draw a faint line across. And that Turn the faint line across, right? Now, if you look at this closely, you discover that we've done these two thickness here. Now, the next thing is this is 13. Where is 13? From here to here is giving us what 13. So, how are we going to measure the 13? Now, I'm going to get the center of this figure here, center of this 32, which is 16. Then I'll draw my perpendicular line. Then I'll measure half of 13 to the left and to the right. What that means? First of all, we will all take the half of this figure here. So, half of the figure here we're talking about is here. So if I measure it, we know it is giving us 32. Or oh, it's giving us um, 32. Let's say that. So let's see. This is from here. 0, 0, this is 15, 16, and this is the center here, 17, 16 is the center there, right? So, I'm going to project this down, this way, with faint line. So, since I said 
this box you see you see distance is what 13 so how of 13 will be um that will be 6.5 right so i'm going to measure 6.5 to the left and to the right like this so taking my meter rule i'm going to measure 6.5 this 5 6.5 will be somewhere in between here yeah i mean two to this somewhere between six and seven so i'll place it at this point i'm going to mark left and i'm going to mark right also like this so with the help of my instrument i'm going to connect these two together tick line and i'm going to connect this two together to take line then i'm going to close it up like this and i'm going to close it up like this you can see that now the next thing we'll do here is to successfully um reproduce the elevation of the figure that is displayed at the top right corner here now the next thing is we draw the plan i told you the plan is always under the front elevation so what will i do the one thing the plan has that i will take into consideration and that is the width and the length so if i look at the width and the length we already have the length already which is 64 then the width is what is 32 so i'm going to measure 32 from this point here to measure my width 32 so with the help of my meter rule i will measure 32 starting from this is 32 here this is 3 1 2 yes then this is 0 here so from 0 to 32 right then I'll project my line this way, length line. Then I'll bring this down this way, all those points, I'll bring them down like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this, and this is what we actually have now. All the four corners will be thickened. So, I already give you an analysis of that with what we have here telling us all the four corners will be thickened from the plan. So, I'll thicken from here to here, and I'll also thicken from here to here, and I will also thicken. From here to here, then with this also, I'll take in from here to here. That again. Now, this you're seeing from the top right corner, this is telling me that there's a true that's passing through that figure, right? So I'm going to use hidden line to represent that here. So, I use my hidden line. If you look at the picture displayed on your screen, the hole at that point. So we represent using hidden line as a true down the figure right then here on top of here let me show you so this is a true that we talked about with us draw throughout the figure so we use hidden line to show it that it is going through in right now the next thing is this point here from the top right this is a right and this is what this line here from the top is straight this two point here so here is here which is also at this point here so i'll just draw a straight line here and here to show that the man there will be brought out like this and uh, like this you can see that now the next thing is this inclined point here we need to represent it train it at this point so how will i do that look at the diagram again 
the diagram here is telling me this line i want to throw it to all these points let me say point b will be showing so what is the thickness of that line is 15 so i'm going to measure the half of 32 which is 16 i'll measure 7.5 to the left and 7.5 to the right so let me measure the half of 32 first so this length here you're seeing is this length here you are seeing so i'll take half of it which is 16 so the length is 32 to see from here to here zero to this point you can see it's giving us the 32 here so this is 0 10 15 16 that is half of it i'll take my meter rule my t square and I'll just draw is more like a center line there. I want to. I hear that. Then I measure 7.5, 7.5 because thickness of that plant side is 15. So I measure 7.5 on my uh, meter rule this way. This is 5, this is 6, 7.5 is here. I see that. I'm going to place it at this point. I'll mark to the left and also to the right. All right. So I will now connect it together with my straight line this way, touching here, and with my straight line this way, touching here. All right. So this is what we have here. We successfully drawn all the plan to this our point B. I'm talking about. So all this point here is A. Now this is what we are actually talking about and this back here is the back of the figure you can see on the screen. Now the next thing we'll do is to draw the end view. So when you talk about end view, first of all, I told you this is the center of the attraction here. All other things are built around this guy here. So I'll draw my end of elevation here. This is first time projection. So I'll come here, I'll draw to connect this point together. Can see that then i'll move this to this point where i'm going to draw this this way and connect all these points to this connect this also to this connect this to to this right and project everything up i'm going to project everything up like this and this also project this up like this project this up like this now we do we have all the four corners are thickened if you've been following up the video i've already explained from here to here is thickened to this point right then uh, the top also is also thickened from here to here to this point right then I will close up here also to thickened and here is also thickened. The end view, let me show you something. We are looking at it from this point, right? So we'll thicken out the four corners, looking at the cloud, look as if all these points is at the beginning of the line. So there are four. All these points I've taken them. Now there's a height of thickness of 10, which I will not stress myself. Look at how the elevation will bring out these guys out. So let's see. Now look at the elevation. This is the guy here, the 15 here. If I just project that point to this point here, like this, discover that from here to here is thickened. You can see that. Then I'll come here also, if I project here also like this. So this is to show me hidden line because I cannot see it. So it will be a true line here, like this. Hidden line because of that figure that is there. So you'll be wondering how come? Now look at the figure closely. This true here, we cannot see it. We're looking from this side. So there's a true in. So I'm showing it from this side that there's a hole behind this figure, right? So let's move forward. The next thing is to draw this point B. So I don't have to stress myself. Look at how it will come out. With what we have here, right? 
we want to project this figure you see this figure this two line here which is this inclined line if you trace it so it means it is falling here so i'm going to connect that point to this point i'm going to see it right we trace the other side also to this point it's falling here meaning it is starting from this line here so i'm going to trace it up also This is what we have here, and this is my front elevation, my plan, and my end view. We have successfully drawn that isometric view that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen into first angle projection. So, if you, I told you earlier, the end view has just deals with the width and the height, right? So, this is the height, and this is what the width. The plan deals with the length and the height. So this is the length here, and this is the word height. Why the front elevation deals with the length and also the height. So if you find the video helpful and you know the length, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching.